Yo, what is happening, guys, and welcome back to the Speed Action Channel. Of course, you're back for another reaction. Now, y'all know what's going down. You just watch previous video. Church versus Upscrew Beef. We wind back the clock. We reacted to it. Church up to yo. Church came in for the fire ground, started it. Basically, bodied Screw before Screw even got the chance. But we're going to give Screw the chance to see if he redeemed himself. I don't know. But of course, before we get into it, as always, hope y'all have an amazing day. If you're not switch out yet, the fuck around, start having an amazing day. Always trying to spread positive vibes, entertain, and have fun on this channel. Because that's what it's all about. It's all about the fun and the vibes. Now, I remember, if y'all fuck with the vibe, like, comment, and subscribe. Links up here and down below. You want vlogs, IRL content on Speed Vlogs. You want gamer content on Speed Gamer. Got Twitch, got TikTok, got IG, got all this and that. If you want to check it out, I really would appreciate it. But, yeah, screw is back today with victim quotes. So, you know, it's five minutes. Oh, okay. Is Screw going to come out? Oh, the first the first diss from Screw wasn't good. I'm going to just keep it real. The second diss was a step up, but Church stomped on it. Then Church really, really, really came after you in the third one. Please tell me you at least... You know, at least don't just throw a jab. Please tell me you throw like a, a hook or something. Like, you know what I mean? I Like, he was throwing jabs at Upchurch while Upchurch was coming in fucking swinging for the fences. Screw, please tell me you at least threw a hook or something this time. Please. Please. Get him. Get him. Oh, he has a Simpsons character now. Of a fat Upchurch. <laughs> For the third time, I'ma off this cat with his awful raps. You had a lot of rounds by my booty hole, so let's start with that. In every diss track that you made, you always talking cracks. Not hating on your infatuation, baby, just talking fat. I'm honest. Did I just... Did I just hear Screech turn around and say, you got a lot of rounds with my booty hole? <laughs> Obviously, Upchurch turned around and said that you're, um, in his last one, Cargo Head, your ass is sore because every time we beef off, I fuck you in the ass, basically, um, because I fuck you up. So he, he said you, you had a lot of rounds with my asshole, but I don't know if Screw said that in the meaning of you have a lot of, like, close rounds with my asshole because I've been shitting on you, or he just said that to take the piss. But if he said it to take the piss, he kind of just dug himself under the desk in a sense. I don't even know. For the benefit of doubt, I'm going to give Screw the benefit of doubt and assume he's saying, you've had a lot of rounds of my asshole because I have been shitting on you. I'm assuming that that is what he meant. Because if that's not what he meant, I'm a question, Screw. Ooh, what's going on in your mind, buddy? What, what was going on in your mind when you released this track? I don't know. But we're going to give him the benefit of doubt. We went back to the start. I'm going to slow it down on him. Church became Barney for real. For the third time, I'ma off this cat with his awful raps. You had a lot of rounds by my booty hole, so let's start with that. In every diss track that you made, you always talking cracks. Not hating on your infatuation, baby, just talking fat. God, you whack. Three diss tracks, bitch, I want all of that. Cause all that trash that you keep on spitting wouldn't even call it rap. At this point, I think you would stand the way you want my sack. So here's my autograph. I wrote it on your brothers. You want to know how? Okay, so obviously he's turned around, he's continuing saying that church can't rap his shit. He said that all your raps, all your districts, he goes, I want all of that. Um, he's like, if you want to give me more views, go for it. You're you can't rap for shit, your shit. It's it's basically the common thing if he's calling him shit again, but he's already done that. Um the only smart the smart thing he done there though was whenever he said that your shit, he goes, Here, here, take my autograph, because obviously Screw believes he won the first two rounds. He's like, Here, take my autograph. I wrote it on your brothers and in space, because obviously I wrote it on your brother's starter cap. That's M and M Stan. And whenever he turned goes, Here, I wrote it on I wrote it on your starter cap. So he's like, I wrote it on your brother's starter cap. Okay. I know that you know that you didn't win because you wanted a third round and try to diss me again. My friend, he's been lying. Ryan ain't think that he hit he on that bulligan and asking for mulligans because he missed. He said he won because he got a million views. That's out of pocket. Like 1.6 million subs ain't the reason he got it. But his last diss did 1.1. My nigga, stop it. That means about half a million subs ain't even watching you. Okay, that was a good diss. That, that was a good diss. There we go, screw. There, there. There we go, screw. That was a good desk. He turned around and said, <clears throat> the beef was over. You knew you lost, so you released the third track, even though he didn't lose. But you released the third track. 
um, because you wanted to continue to do that because you got views. Now you said you got a million views, 1.6 views, blah, blah, blah. And he turned around and said that you have 1.6 million subscribers, I'm pretty sure. And he says, but your last one got 1.1 and all this. And he started talking statistics about what things the church was getting. Church thought that he won this battle because he got a million views, which is stupid because that doesn't mean you won. That just means you got a good amount of views. But then he mentioned about 1.6 and then the numbers and said that means over half um, over half of your subscribers ain't even watching, ain't even interested in your beef. So that was a good this. Okay, screw, screw, screw. Took the the whole I'm playing the race card out and started talking statistics, and that was a good. That's his best this he's had towards up church because he he brought statistics into it. So that was his best this so far. Yo, that bulligan and asking for mulligans because he missed. He said he won because he got a million views. That's out of pocket. Like 1.6 million subs ain't the reason he got it. But his last disc did 1.1. My nigga, stop it. That means about half a million subs ain't even watching. You always talking accolades, but still can't fuck with me. You got a crush on me? I think Ryan done fell in love with me. Them billboard <laughs> hits is a dud. You see? If somehow you always end up in the mud with me. Now I never get out of prison. They tripping. Look how I did them. Views Slipping, bitch. I can't kill you more than the algorithm on a mission. Ooh. I'ma hit him, creeping with the 40 stalking. Catch him home alone. Someone take the mic from Macaulay Culkin. JR talking, cause I got a ring with just my own words. Rookie thought I was whoopy till he got speared by Goldberg. You know that dislike. Okay, he, he brought in a WWE bar, bro. <laughs> okay, he brought in a WWE bar. Um, <clears throat> I put there whenever he said, I can't kill you more than the algorithm because obviously he's saying your algorithm shit. No one watches your videos. Um, so your algorithm shit, I can't kill you more than the algorithm. And then he just continued to, he said, Ryan fell in love with me taking the piss of him. And then he turned around and said, bro, bro thought I was whoopee, but then got speared by Goldberg. Nah, I might not be correct here. So if anybody knows, you know, correct me in the comments, I was a big WWE fan as a kid. Pretty sure whoopee. Or whatever the fuck you call him. Um, no, I feel like I'm making this up. I don't know. I know at one point in time there was a guy who pretended to be Goldberg in the WWE. And he kind of, he, he was literally the, the funny version of Goldberg. And he was taking the piss. And then Goldberg came back and squashed him. And then I don't think we ever saw him again. Is he talking about, I know he played the bar on the Whoopi Goldberg thing. But is he also making a reference to that? Because he said, you call me Whoopi, Whoopi Goldberg. But then... You got speared by actual Goldberg, the guy who would spear you, lift you up for the hammer, whatever the hell it is, and slam you down. So you you misjudged me, but is he also phoning a reference to that, saying you thought I was that Goldberg, the funny one, when I was actually this one, and you got speared out of the fucking the air? Y'all are going to have to let me know, because I, I feel like I'm making up the double one. I feel like it's just a single one, but I feel like I'm making up a double bar there. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. But either way, it was nice. One for a ten. Look how I did him. View slipping. Bitch, I can't kill you more than the algorithm on a mission. I'ma hit him creeping with the 40 stalking. Catch him home alone. Someone take the mic from Macaulay Culkin. JR talking because I got a ring. With just my own words. Rookie thought I was whoopy till he got speared by. Okay, so I was that part. Got a ring. Um with my own words, and then obviously he started, the, the Home Alone one was very basic. He turned around and said about he's home alone, and then someone take the mic from Macaulay Culkin. Not really a good diss, but I get the bar. Goldberg and all that disliking and fan spamming just won't work. Try it, but your bias can't hide that this made your soul hurt. Victim quotes in the comments can never seal the truth. How am I killing church? But he the one that looked like Dylan Rue. I came up on the M's and the J's. That shit was timeless. Now niggas ain't even rhyming. They just get awards for trying. I am the thorn in your side. Funny that this time you more like an ex bitch who can't quit hitting my line. But fine, I guess you need it. No reason to leave him breathing. Lyrically, the gap between is big as the gap in your teeth. This ain't no secret. You gon' pull a muscle the way that you reach And I know that your heart weeping Cause you know that we not even we Okay, so that part whenever he's putting them down He's saying I'm better than you I know you pulling a muscle when you reach him Because you know we not even You're reaching to try and get more views Try and get a reaction Try and get views So you're reaching and you've pulled a muscle Because you have to reach so far Because me and you are not on the same level That's a decent ditch um, This, but he, he, he is just continuously saying that he's better than him he's not actually making it personal um and then he mentioned the gap in his teeth again you know it's funny church has a gap in his teeth yes haha but you've already dissed him about it that's my issue you know he's having a few disses and i'm like yeah they're not bad disses but the point is you've already done it church dissed you on the way you rap the way you look the way you react to shit person wise called you the F word called you everything. Church has ticked every box. You are kind of just ticking the box of, 
I'm better than you. You suck. Got a gap in your teeth, dumbass. You got the London look. You are probably aren't going to get that reference because it used to be an ad, get the London look, but all the girls had gaps in their teeth. Um, Yeah, anyway. So he, he's basically just saying all that and he's just repeating it, but in a different format. So that's my issue. I feel like he needs to change it up. You know that your squad weakened from watching they guard bleeding, watch your soul start leaping. This the part you start. Grief. Back, back. We ain't afraid to say you whack. Jack, some niggas ain't afraid of the dislikes or the backlash. Stick the harmonies and the comedy, Mr. Jack Black. Where smack act? Jay Black gonna Obviously tell the comedy fact. Jack Black. nation ain't stupid. You about to fail in your caper. You use your sub counts to tip the scales in your favor. Not a hater. See, I hate the game. Not the player, but artist, the artist. I know I hurt you more than you care to say. Send your fans in ways that don't bother me Honestly, real rap niggas hear quality over quantity In battle rap, we know a biased crowd can be fake Until we see the footage and catch a nigga dying on tape Dropping comments on anyone who would diss me Bitch, you could have just said that you missed me You might be one of the wackest niggas in history Your infatuation against me, I pity that shit's a mystery It's funny how you ask random people that's on the streets About your rap songs and most of them think that they weak But on your side, they got you thinking that you deep I'm about to out Pacino niggas that got you thinking you heat Okay, so obviously, screw <clears throat> is mentioning how, which is a good this. he's mentioned how, you know, Church wants this beef, he needs these views, because obviously they had the first two rounds, then Screw didn't respond, then Church was the one to drop another one, and Screw's obviously turning around and saying, you didn't drop that Ferg one, because I said that, obviously Screw dissed him and said he thought he won the first two rounds, so Church goes, right, you think you won the first two rounds, now nah, I'm going to diss you again, to force you to respond, so I can beat you three times. But obviously, Screw's like, you know, I, I finished. I, I already beat you. And now you decided to call me out again because you want the attention. So that's a nice little thing on Screw. And obviously, he mentions about you go up to people in the street and ask about your rap songs. Obviously, I don't know. If, I don't know. Like, Church could literally go up to people in the street and ask about his rap songs, hand out CDs whenever he was coming up. I don't know his backstory. But it's just a few nice little disses by Screw. But the most of it is just the same thing said in a different format. It's literally, it's it's literally like doing an essay on Word, and then just dragging it over to PowerPoint. It's the same thing, same thing said. It's just in a different format. It looks different. That. Nice with yeah. the guitar, just not nice with the B dog. Nice with the yeehaw, just not nice with V bars. <laughs> yeehaw, the country. The but the but not car. nice bars. About my nose, but that sniffer can snort a ski large. <laughs> big bitch, mess around and yeah, turn into a big fish. He always chew that dipshit perfect, cause he a dipshit. Rip shit, okay. that shit spitting like right. a sick with a big clip. He mad then I got the hiss thick unload, reload, click, click. The nation really laughing at that shit that you wrote. And under all the hate comments, we type in victim quotes. Cause this is like day. David and Goliath, don't you know? But I just found a slingshot and a stone, bitch. Okay, that was nice. This is like David and Goliath, yeah. but I just found a slingshot and stone. How try flipping this one. That's how David beat Goliath. <laughs> I... Good luck. Face. The bait on this was nice, though. By the way, I gotta say that. I know you're gonna respond again because you need it. You definitely need it. But at this point, I'm just kicking the dead body. But I love you though. Uh, I love you. <laughs> Nigga thought he could rap. He thought he could rap, rap. So I'm gonna give me a guitar. I'm about to start trying country. Oh, come on. He got some. He got some nice country songs. Right? I know nice Church is gonna come for you now, because that's the reason he's going for Tom. Because Tom said he wanted to kick his lane. You stepping into his lane now, he's gonna come harder. Fuck. Okay. Well. I like that part where Screw played it and turned and said, I know you're going to reply because you need it. So then when Church does reply, Screw's going to be like, I told you so. I know your next move, which is obviously Church is going to reply because you dissed him. But he obviously played a little bit of a smart thing there saying, oh, obviously you're going to reply because you need it. So he, he played a little bit smart there. Um, But yeah, this is literally just a beat fading up. Yeah. But the overall song though, yeah, the overall song. Hmm. Church is up for you. Quite convincingly as well. Like I said, it's actually a damn shame. It is a damn shame because I like the both of them and I wanted it to be competitive. But Screw just, he keeps recycling the same stuff and saying it a different way. 
And it is a damn shame because I like screw. I do. I like screw. <sighs> but church wins this round again because church made it personal. Screw's just taking the piss out of everything about to do with his rap, calling him shit in multiple different ways, say, saying he needs the fuse in multiple different ways. He's just saying the same thing over and over. Church is actually making it kind of personal and really going for the jugular. That's the difference. That's the difference. Church has venom in his bite. When Church punches, he punches with intention. Screw's just punching for the sake of scoring a point. It's like boxing, you know what I mean? Screw's punching to hope to score a point so he can win by decision. Church is punching with the hope to land that knockout shot because he doesn't want a good decision. He wants to win by knockout. That's the difference. That's the best. That's a perfect way to explain it. You know, Church is going for a knockout. Screw's going for the points decision win. That is it. But Church responds again, and then Screw responds again. So we get one more round. Please, for the love of God, Screw, please, <laughs> please, just one more round. If you lose three to one, it's fine. At least you won one round. But we'll see. But of course, as always, think positive. Have a great day. Stay safe. We gonna get into that. Hope you all enjoy it. I'll see you in the next one. So, uh, peace. Fearless.